usual. Uh, hey, what's up, everybody? James here, back with another video for you. So, I... I forgot I didn't have this thing down. Oops. Uh, well, anyway, um, what's up, everybody? Um, I'm back, and I decided to do a vlog. Um, life, 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 what to do, what to do, and what am I to talk about? Uh, uh well... Overall vlog, um, as some of you may have noticed, um, within the past week I've uploaded two videos. One of them is a Transformers Hunt for the Decepticons um, Battle Blades Optimus Prime review, and the other one is like a voice audition for ABC55, ABC55's 55, Transformers Earth series. Um, by the way, check it out, as I said in the audition, it's the series is absolutely awesome. Um, but yeah, um, but what else am I to talk about? Oh yeah, um, in my summer videos, um, I told you about, um, a thing I'm doing in school at the minute, um, over the past, over the next, wait for it, two years. Um, over the next two years, I'm actually going to be um, doing these things called things called GCSEs and A levels, which basically means that if you get a good grade in that. Well, let me put it short and sweet. Um, these grades help you get a g get a good job, which in some uh, very simple terms, good grades equals good job. And I intend to go into a job that involves computers, since I I myself actually consider myself good with computers. Um, but everyone who intends to have a YouTube channel and Facebook and how to customize their own websites and stuff like that. You know, they're all geniuses with computers. So, yeah. Um, by the way, um, well, I thought I, I think I might as well just talk about stuff. Um, stuff, stuff, stuff. What to talk about again. Uh, and as you saw in my... Uh, earlier this year, you saw in a video I created um, that I... Wait for it. I now collect Hero Factory. And I know what the Bionicle fans are thinking. With a with a sarcastic smile on their face. Night slash twenty twenty junior, you bionicle portraying bastard. Why? Uh, I don't know. Something about it actually lured me into it. The first sort of wave of Hero Factory actually looked good, as it was more or less relatively similar to the Bionicles. Then came out then came Hero Factory two point which came out in the first half of of this year. Was I impressed with it? Maybe a little bit. Um, well, I got Nex. Anyway, I've had him for like six or something months. Uh, but, um, and I have, unfortunately, as my fans are going to be annoyed to hear this, I've started collecting Hero Factory 3.0 as well. Yeah. But, um... I actually decided to do a thing with Ferno 2.0, and it's sort of a customizing thing in the making, but this is him so far. It's sort of meant to be something like a Ferno 2.0, ultimate sort of, you know, something like Ultimate Ferno. But, leave that to the side. Um, by the way, um, I never actually got a, got the chance to show you guys this, but um, for my... For my Christmas last year, Christmas 20, 2010, I got this. This is an Android scroll. It is an all. It's actually is a great little piece of tech. Okay, it's not an iPad. Hey, what do you know? You can see my see my reflection. <laughs> Just kidding. Although it's not the iPad. By the way, my dad actually has an iPad. Sweet. Um, he got that for his birthday, uh, which was on the 3rd of September, and me and my sister have been using it ever since. Um, this little thing here, I'll actually recommend this to people who actually want to get this, because they'll actually be very interested in it. Um, is it as good as the iPad? Not so much. Is it as fast and as responsive as the iPad? No. But is it great in, in terms of money? Yes. And why does everyone care about money? We're in a recession, people. Money has to be saved. Save it, or else you'll be living on the streets like an idiot. Wait, what have I ever done with my money lately? 
Yeah, I think it's been something like this. Oops. Meh, who cares? Uh, well, stuff that's coming up. Probably over the weekend, I'm going to be doing a review of Dark the Moon Road Buster. Awesome. Uh, what else? What else? As I randomly look around my room. Uh, yeah, I actually want to show you guys something if you give me a minute. Yeah. Transformer and Bionicle fans pay no attention. Hero Factory fans pay attention. Um, I actually did, um, as you all know, I eventually intend to bring out a, like a st Transformers slash Bionicle slash Hero Factory sort of series, but, um, it's not going to be like, um, a half, a third Hero Factory sort of series. Um, stop motion series. It will include Hero Factory figures, but it won't be about them. It's more or less a Transformers sort of story. At first, it was, as everyone intends to call it, you know, um, tra the Transformers or Transformers, which I intend to call mine at first, but then I thought of a, of a clever title called Transformers Battle for Survival. What do you guys think? Um, although, you know, it's not going to be like a year or something until it comes out, but um, you know, you know, and surprising as this may seem, I actually intend to bring out twenty four episodes of of a three seasoned Transformers stop motion series, and I will be back in a moment. Yeah. And that it was my sister who intends to show up when I am doing the worst of all things. But anyway, this video will be uploaded. Um, by the way, um, you know, I intend to bring out 24 episodes over a three season show. Um, and there will be the occasional characters such as Hero Factory 2.0 Fire Lord, who, whom of which will actually be starring in season 2 as The Fallen. Yeah, in my season 2 I actually... I actually plan to introduce the Fallen. By the way, um, I know a lot of fans of the Transformers actually liked Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen, and I at first I liked. It. I myself actually liked it at first. Whenever it came out in the cinema, I went to see it four times. Transformers: Dark the Moon, I went to see once, but I've been watching like pirated copies of the movie on YouTube and the internet, so. Um, and Transformers 1 I went to see like twice or something but um, but you know whenever I come to you know do my actual series sorry sorry indigestion sorry uh, again uh, sorry but in my season two of my of Transformers Battle for Survival will include Mr. Fallen over here. But as well as that, Hydraxon, who is this cool guy here, I plan in season two to have him reformatted. And as everyone knows, Hydraxon's face was used on Von Nebula in the first Hero Factory series. I myself have actually been doing a little, have made a little, a few little modifications to him, and this is now what he, and this is what he now looks like. I have provided full, um, elbow articulation, um, a little bit of leg movement. Well, not desperate lot. Um, a little bit of customizing to the feet, and you know, just an, just enough to make him look interesting. By the way, I also customize his bleed, because frankly, the first sort of version of his sword was pretty crap. And sorry if there are young viewers watching this, but to be honest, you have to face facts. And to be honest, his weapon was pretty rubbish. So I customized it a little bit. Besides, I like I sort of like weapons that are just like bleeds, you know. And I wish they find a way to stop and make to make it stop spinning. I could have fixed that too, but I'm too lazy to. Oh well. I'm just kidding. But I will eventually come around to doing that. Why didn't I have to do that before this review? Shut up, nice slash 2020 junior. Get on with the video! Gotcha. Uh, well, this will be the second version. This will be the reformatted Hydraxon in Season 2 onwards. Um, 
By the way, this is Transformers oh, Dark of the Moon Voyager Optimus Prime. I'm actually selling this guy, but um, I unfortunately can't do anything about it just yet. But um, there's Dark of the Moon Optimus. As you actually saw my Dark of the Moon um, Optimus review, oops, um, you know, at first I actually thought he was going to be very impressive. Then as soon as I read the instructions and got into rope vehicle mode, I then found out that it was nothing like I'd imagined on the bad side. But having said that, um, you know, it's an okay figure. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen leader Optimus Prime actually looks way cooler. And from what I've seen of reviews and stop motions and all that, you know, he definitely looks way better. Um, I'm actually just looking around to see what I got. Uh, oh yeah, um, if you give me a second. I'm pretending to sing myself. Oops, I'm on camera. <laughs> I'm back. Um, there's a little thing that I've actually been doing lately, and that is making, like, Lego Technic weapons for the Transformers. For example, as everyone saw in Dark the Moon, Ironhide had two extra guns that he sort of, like, pulled out of his back and used it, and in a way sort of used them to kill Crowbar and um, Crankiest. But here are my sort of versions. Here we have my first sort of version, and this is his giant machine gun sort of thing. Okay, those are iron hides, and now on to Sideswipe. As everyone knows, Dark the Moon Sideswipe didn't come with any guns, although he came with a huge big blaster, which frankly was way too big. Um, if people know what they're doing, you know, they would ha they would take the weapons from their sidearm Sideswipe figure and use them for this guy. But I actually happened to find a video where they where a guy had actually made a bionicle sort of weapon, and I actually you and I actually used the design for the, for Sideswipe, and. I made about three of these here. Two, another one does sideswipe, and the uh, there's w this one here, another one, and then an e an extra one. But you know, I actually like this blaster on sideswipe. You know, it really sort sort of suits him well. Um, originally, I did intend to buy a secondary sideswipe, and these massive blades I would have cut down the middle here. So therefore, it was only a little bit, and sideswipes. Sorry, Sideswipe's arms would have had more sort of um, moverability, but um, I've sort of moved on from that sort of idea. But if I haven't actually see a Dark Moon Sideswipe on seal, um, I will buy him and actually come up with that idea. Uh, what else, what else, what else to talk about? Um, well, that's actually probably it for this video. But before I get on um, with stuff, I'm actually ju there are actually two little things. One is I actually just got a new chair. Check out this beauty. It's a sexy beast. I said that wrong, didn't I? Uh. There's that. Okay, there's the chair, and with less than a minute, with just over a minute remaining, I want to actually talk about something. You know, obviously, YouTubers always have, like, an, a life outside of the internet and all that there, but outside mine, people actually mock me for the videos I upload onto YouTube, which, frankly, really annoys me. You know, I've done nothing wrong. All I simply do is upload videos because I want to. And if I want to talk about something, I talk about it. And frankly, this is a subject I want to talk about. You know, I'm not sure if there are actually any people who, you know, have the same sort of problem. But frankly, I have i can't take it anymore. I'm not going to delete my channel, but I am going to say this to my viewers if you're going to mock me. If you're going to mock me, fine, I'll ignore you. But if it gets too far out of hand, that's when it gets personal. But, um, such and such, here's the review of the video over. Okay, this is Night Slash 2020 Junior. Subscribe to my channel for videos and more. Subscribe to my second channel of Transformer James 88. Like me on Facebook by searching for James Lenhan. Have a nice day, see you all around, and I'll be back soon. So, until then.
By the way, I have a wireless mouse, which is pretty cool. Bye.